Limpopo Premier Sten Lima Tabata says a provincial-specific energy production plan has been devised as a way to mitigate against the energy crisis. Matabata was delivering the state of the province address in Bulukwan. He says that this new plan will include locally produced power across all local municipalities. SABC News reporter Pimani Baloi has more. Limpopo Premier Stanley Matabata has just completed delivering a state of the province address here at the Jake Boras Hall in Polokwani, where he gave an in-detail de in uh, uh, analysis of where the state of the province is currently. Matabata spoke, also spoke about his plans as the administration that they have to ensure that there's economic growth in the province. Matabata also gave, you know, an update in terms of the investment conference that they had last year, pro pledges that were made by uh, mining companies companies, uh, hospitality companies, stating how far those projects are and how many jobs have been created thus far. But he also spoke about service delivery, speaking about, you know, road construction projects, speaking about uh, projects to ensure that communities have water and ensuring that they have jobs. But to speak more about how to get reactions about this speech, we're joined by the DA's uh, caucus leader, Mr. Jack Smell. Mr. Smell, thank you so much for speaking to us. Your reaction? Um, it's not one of a good one today. Um, totally an effort by the Premier to decentralise um, energy plan um, under, under his helm. And this at the expense of an unfunded budget towards uh, local municipalities, not dealing with the immediate um, water crises within um, local municipalities by promising four major dams to be built. Uh, we know that that is a long time period. Uh, and and the um, commitment and the promises made by corporate to uh, to invest at um, at the various sp um, special economic zones is dragging its feet due to the various red tape within the department. Uh, uh, and we are urging the um, premier and the MEC for economic development to fast track uh, and minimising the red tape so that we can get in the much needed revenue back into the prov uh, province. Thank you so much, Mr. Smell. That's uh, a DA leader, Mr. Jack Smell, reacting to the speech. I must add, the Premier stated that, you know, his uh, government is committing to ensure that they create their own sources of power to deal with load shedding, stating that all government buildings will now have solar panels. They will start in, uh, installing solar panels, including that even hospitals and schools will also have the same. But to get more reaction, I'm joined by the leader of the uh, EFF here in the province, Ms. Chirizi Maraga. Bomaraga, what's your reaction? Thank you very much. What we can say, the speech of the Premier was just a hogwash. In other words, it was not even giving the confidence to the people of Limpopo because what he was doing was just cut and paste. He was repeating what he said last year. If you can check now, we are still talking about the Guiana project, which is not yet completed, meaning that and it's an indication that the Premier doesn't have a plan. We, he's now impressed about the Sifateng mine, of which we know that he's there to exploit the workers. He knows that he's benefiting. That is why he's saying that. But when we go and look at the rows, we can check and find that there are more potholes all over. The potholes are there. The contributing factor is is the contractors are shady. So as EFF, we are saying there must be the abolishment of tenders in a way that we must receive the quality work of proper rules. Bomaraga, before the Premier could ascend the stage, you raised a point of privilege calling for MEC, Health MEC Dr. Popera Matuba, to be chucked out of uh, the legislature, to be removed. Tell us about this call. What are your reasons? Yeah, we said Popera Matuba must not attend the sitting because of the behavior. Because Popera Matuba has been found guilty of shouting at the Zimbabwean who is the patient in August in Vila Vila Hospital. So we can check that the behavior of Poprama Tuba is not allowed to be amongst the people. And we are saying what we started, we are going to sharply raise it on the 
28. And we will see that we ride the motions and all the effort that can make Topira Matupa to be expelled from the health. Thank you so much. That is the reaction of the EFF here in Limpopo following Premier Stanley Matabata's delivering of his state of the province address. Some of the issues that were included in that SOPA was Matabata stating that his government will not tolerate corruption and fraud, stating that they are still uh, going ahead uh, following the recommendations of the SIU regarding five officials in the health department who are the SIU found that they need to be to undergo internal disciplinary processes to ensure that they are made account held accountable for allegedly uh, squandering money that was uh, meant for uh, 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 COVID-19 relief. We don't know how far that process is. We've been making queries as the SABC, but we, uh, according to the Premier, the internal, this is still ongoing. One of the people uh, of the people has been criminally charged, but we'll be following up to ensure that we keep you updated. For now, it's back to you in studio.